toilet. I've just bought this off of eBay and it's just recently been delivered and uh, seems pretty good. Uh, it cost quite a lot of money. Um, I think I paid £360 for this one. Um, yeah, seems like a lot of money for a bit of plastic but you can always, you can always find uh, second hand toilets on eBay. Uh, reasonably cheap but when it comes to a toilet we thought we'd just splash out the cash and buy a brand new one. It's nice and clean then and we know nobody else has used it or anything like that. Um, but yeah, seems okay. Obviously I haven't tested it yet because it's not been wired in or anything like that. Um, but that's sort of today's job really, is to get this fitted. Let me show you what else I bought. I've bought some hygienic board, hygienic wall board for um, uh, the inside of the toilet area. Uh, I don't really know why, I just wanted it. Looks pretty cool and uh, easy to clean. Um, I'm going to be putting MDF up first and then I'll be nailing this too on top of the MDF. Um, I'll show you the nails which I bought off eBay. I literally buy everything off of eBay. This, these are the nails which I'm going to be using for the hygienic board. Smash them straight in, like white tip, white tops. Lovely jubbly. That'll do the job. Got a big old bag, a big old bag of them. Nice. Now it's time to get it all fitted. By the end of today, we should have a toilet. Cue the time lapse. So as you can see, I've put the hygienic board up. I've made the little small area for where the toilet's gonna to be going. Uh, and I've siliconed up the internal corners. Um, so now that the uh, actual box of where the toilet's gonna to be is done, I need to actually go and fit the toilet, which I need to cut a hole out here. Cause the toilet, instead of having a, um, instead of pulling, Oh, what's it called? Instead of pulling the waste from outside of the van, I'm gonna pull mine from inside. Just just easier, I thought. And uh, it's gonna come from 
outside, inside of there. So the toilet's going to have its back pushed here and I'm going to be able to get to the waste from inside of there. I've cut this little groove out um, so I can do it all from inside the van. Toilets. That's what the toilet's going to look like when it's fixed. Perfect. It's got to fix it back to this wall and from the other side I'm going to be able to get to the waste and be able to pull it through this little gap and empty it. <laughs> Look at the state of my kind. Terrible. Oh well. It doesn't have to be neat, it's all going to be hidden by behind the back of the toilet. So what needs to happen now is I have this little uh, sort of hinge device. This, I've put a mark, I've put a pen mark of where the toilet's actually going to go. This needs to be screwed there. So the toilet sort of hooks onto it. And what happens is, this little piece will hook underneath here on the inside of the toilet. And that'll hook the toilet on and keep it in a secure spot, hopefully. Boom. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. And that's the toilet fitted. Seems good. Test set it now. Oh it. yeah. Got ourselves a toilet. Right, so now next plan is wire it up, plumb it up, give it a go. Can't be that hard. So he's connected up. I've got this pipe coming through here, water pipe, goes into the water inlet for the toilet. I've forced it into, it's a 10 mil pipe, I'm forcing it into a 12 mil, and I've got a Jubilee kit around it, all wired up, ready to rock and roll, ready to test. And then here's the wire coming through to the other side, and I'm going to plug it in to the split charge converter, there we go, it's got to wire that up now. Right, so I've just finished off uh, wiring it all up and it's all plumbed in now. What I've done was put in a T section into the existing uh, water pipes and then I've ran the water pipe underneath some uh, wood box section which I've got the cables on top of and forced the uh, 10 mil water pipe into the 12 mil. Um, water inlet on the toilet and Jubilee clipped it nice and tight so now all I've got to do is turn the water pump on and give it a little go see how we get on okay sucking in Just test make sure the water's on perfect here we go <coughs> Let me turn this around actually, just so we can see. Here we go, moment of truth. Oh, and we have water. Woohoo! Yes, yes. Oh, yes. We have a working toilet. Oh, my God. Woo! Bloody brilliant. Super pumped. <laughs> wow. So I managed to get it all fitted, all finished. And um, yeah, really happy with how it's turned out. <laughs> and the uh, main thing is there's no leaks, which is good. Um, so all those little tiny connections which I bought for the 10 mil water pipes, um, they're all really good. Uh, no leaks whatsoever. Really happy with them, highly recommend them. I'll leave them in the link in the description below on the video for um, 
if you want to purchase them yourself, but they're really good. I highly recommend it all. Um, yeah, behind where the toilet is, obviously, I have a little bit of sorting out, you know, neating it all up and stuff. But I'll be doing that in between videos and stuff. Um, if you watched my last video, uh, you will know that the display unit for the water tanks wasn't working. Um, so I sent it back to the seller on eBay and he sent me a working one and it's working perfectly fine now. So uh, that sort of concludes last episode. And yeah, everything's all working perfectly nicely. Um, I'm not really sure what the next episode's going to be. It'll either be the, um, me finishing off the wardrobe area above the, he above the headboard or it'll be me um, fitting the shower and the hot water sort of system. So make sure you stay tuned, hope you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.